Hey guys, we're back at Marina Shipyard, Long Beach, California, Alamitos Bay. Standing next to me is Tony, the manager. Hey, Tony. And this is my old boat, the boat you've seen us do shows on in the past, the Sueno 3. My parents own it now, but it's time for it to get bottom paint again. It's one of the important maintenance things that you get done. And my boat is comfortable in this boat yard. It's been here many times in the past to have this done. And Tony, can you explain to our viewers what's going on right now? Uh, right now we're pressure washing the boat. Um, we're going to go ahead and see the actual condition of the bottom. Um, once we see that, we'll go ahead and take a look, see if it needs any extra prep, sanding, or spot priming. And then uh, we'll go ahead and notify you, let you know um, costs. And then uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, you authorize that work, we'll go ahead and prep and paint the boat. So if we're lucky, this is the last step before the painting? This is the um, first step. First, first step. to get the boat out of the water, we go ahead and pressure wash it. Yeah. And then we see the actual condition. Right. And if the boat's in good condition? If the boat's in good condition, we go ahead and say, hey, we're going to go ahead and paint your boat. We go ahead and paint the boat. If it needs prep work, which I see it needs a little bit, uh -huh. we're going to hand sand and spot prime. But like I said, we'll give you an estimate for that. Okay, and if a boat was in a real bad shape, it could be here for a while doing a lot of prep work? Yes, it could. Uh, say a boat has a lot of blisters, or a, a, if it's paint sick, if it has a high buildup of paint, then um, we would give an estimate to go ahead and either strip the bottom, uh, do a blister job, uh, whatever's necessary. Okay, now, the boat's sitting on a cradle, right? Is mm -hmm. that what's yes. designed? So how do you know um, how to sit up the cradle? Well, on a, especially on a power boat like yours, mm -hmm. uh, that boat was designed to be hauled on a three-point system. We support the bow at the, at the stem, and then support the boat laterally at a, stru a good structure point on the on, in the cockpit. Right around the main engines, it looks like. Yes. And you guys have a formula for this? I know you guys do this every day, all day long. Yes, we do. So you kind of have an idea by if it's a Viking or if it's a Tierra. Exactly. When you called and Chris said Craft. you wanted to bring out the Chris Craft, mm -hmm. we went into our file and pulled out the haul-out card for this boat. So we know exactly where the cradle sits. And when you say this boat, not necessarily my boat, but you're talking about a Chris Craft 31 foot. 31 foot Chris Craft Sport yeah, Fisher, yes. You know what to do. Yes. How many years have you guys been here now? Since 1964. A long, long time. Yes. All right, so we're going to hang out for a little bit, find out what shape the hull is. Last time we were here, it was exactly what Tony said. We had to do a little bit of sanding, a little bit of priming, and it looks like we have to do that again this time. All right, for more information about Marina Shipyard, go to their website at marinashipyard.com. Or you can call here, 562-594-0995. All right, in future blogs, I'm going to be explaining to you um, paints and other things that they do here. But that's today's video blog here from Marina Shipyard. Thanks, guys.